it's been a long year and it's been one that's uh, been very trying. The realistic highlight, I, I think, was winning Las Vegas and getting our, our first win there. Tony Stewart makes it a smoke show in Vegas and wins the Cobalt Tools 400. After being a dominant car a year ago and, and running second and uh, having that opportunity to make up for it this year was, was pretty cool. I think there's been a lot of low points this year, unfortunately. I mean, when we ran at uh, Texas in the spring and you know we were such a dominant car there in the fall and went back in the spring and were two laps down, that was a, a pretty big blow. He is just having a terrible time with this car. It's a backup car, as we know, but I thought they would be much, much, much better than what they've shown tonight. Even though it was a low light uh, or low point of the season, I, I think when we came back and, and uh, you know fought our way back to a fifth place finish in the fall, I think that uh, made of. I like working with Steve. He's, um, you know, he's somebody that for me is very, very easy to talk to. Five, four, three, two, one. Real straight, put on a break. He came into a tough situation coming to a new team and uh, having the existing uh, crew still stay intact. And, you know, I think he's done a great job with the adjustment. And, uh, you know, every week he's given us great race cars still. So uh, I don't know how you could ask for more. Gordon with Kyle Busch and Stewart slices down in front of all of them. We pretty much had the attitude from Daytona on that you couldn't take any race for granted. Um, and, you know, when you look at guys that that missed the chase and, uh, you know, how they missed it, and it's, um, it's proof that you've got to be careful and not take uh, any opportunity in, in any race for granted that they all count the same.